So I'm working with Tish Winters on the Artist Haven uh, with doing some tumblers with temporary tattoos. But I had an idea for another one that's a little bit different from what this is. So it's not so obvious. You're just going to have to find out. So I'm really liking how this blend came out. It's really dark, really simple. But I want to try it out with some different colors and do a very simple resin on top of this. So yeah, let's have some fun. All right, so I've already primed my cup with a paint and primer, uh, flat white. And oh drat, I threw it away. <laughs> I usually have a can around to show you guys, um, but I'll put a picture at the end of the video on this, and I'll also put some pictures uh, of the colors I use at the end as well. Um, but I'll let it cure for a while, and now we're gonna add the alcohol inks. Alrighty. Now, I highly recommend you have your bottles open because it's just gonna be a lot easier when you're holding, you know, a tumbler with one hand and uh, the alcohol links with the other. The other thing is too is um, you can have it on a turner if you want. I find it's easier because sometimes I don't want always to go dripping and create horizontal lines. I wanted to move this in big chunks. Um, you'll see as I'm going along. So sometimes I'm holding the cup horizontally. Sometimes it's almost an angle kind of thing. So that's why I wanted it loose in this case. Um, it's hard to explain. It's just kind of a, you know, what you feel most comfortable with. And um, I always start off <laughs> to check and see if I've got any ink left in my brush. And I have a little bit. And how I normally clean out my brushes is I will go and just, you know, dab off as much of the ink as I can. And then, uh, We'll just put a little bit of hand soap in my hand and scrub, you know, the brush in your hand with soap and water. But just a mild soap. I mean, I use Dawn. And then let it dry and voila. All done. So very, very simple. This is going to make a mess. Make sure you have your surface covered. Um, just saying. And right now I'm just trying to get color down here and then to manipulate from there. All right. And I constantly keep it moving just because there'll be a lot of ink. Let me get some of this black off. Hopefully I'm not making anybody dizzy. If you need to add more color, add more color. will occasionally try to blot out my brush. Not afraid of the color here. <laughs> we are going for it. And we're gonna get some blending from one color to the next because everything is still very, very wet. See if I can get it a little bit more cleaned off because we're going to go for coral. Ah. Oh, 
might do. Let's just go ahead and spread this around with another brush. start getting some blending here and if you need more blending just add a little bit more alcohol to your brush I'll grab a little bit of this color now where you've got some fluid movement going on I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the bottom real quick pick up some more color okay Keep moving because you can see how that little bit it's already starting to run. All right, I'm gonna move my way back up. Bit of the purple action going down. Now you definitely want to make sure this dries really, really well um, before you move on to the resin step. And you're going to want to do um, a coating of a UV archival spray to help seal in your alcohol ink. Alright, I'm gonna get my dryer out and see if I can freeze it. Oops, I lied. I just saw a spot. Oh, I didn't do any of the rainbow. Okay, so rainbow, make sure you shake it up really, really well. You wanna hear that ball rolling? And this one lady there. Oops. Doesn't have to be everywhere. I'm just kind of blocking it out a little bit. Ah! You do have to hustle with this one. It's like, where did all my coral go? I think it went up into the pink. Come back, coral. Just a little bit. I'm gonna leave that like that. All right, see, says I'm tilting it down like that. I'm gonna start to lightly dry it. And it's really starting to slow down on moving. Accidentally landed on Judy's challenge colors. <laughs> when you were playing in that, that turned out cool. All right, let's see. Hang on, I'm trying to find a way to put this down. All right, now to slow down a bit, you can see what I've got going on here. 
I got some gorgeous blends in there. I am totally okay with this little bit. Come on, focus. I'm gonna stand here. A little bit of shimmer in there with the rainbow. A really pretty blend so that's how the cup will be laying have a dark top to it which makes the bottom glow nicely even though the very very bottom looks pretty okay so we got a good base to start with now there is a ton of ink on here so because of that we're gonna let that dry for quite some time and I will hit it with a UV archival spray, probably do about two or three coats on that and let that dry really well. I don't know if you can see this, but this little area right in here, you can see a really kind of a thick line in there and in there, that's gonna take a little bit to dry. And where it's super, super shiny, will be tacky. Uh, you can tack on like a gold foil at this stage um, it's tacky enough that it adheres to it, but um, we're going to let that be for right now. I'm happy with it. All right, so I've got a resin coat on this particular tumbler, and I am super stoked. It is ready for the next step. Are you guys ready for the next step? You're going to like this. Okay, are you guys familiar with henna's or the, um, the art of drawing? I believe it's an Indian style. Uh, on the skin and it dyes the skin usually in browns and sometimes blacks and they use them for weddings and special occasions and stuff we in the u.s use it for more festivals <laughs> that kind of thing but i always like the designs and i thought it would be cool if i could find some of those in a white so a white tattoo with the color background and i did so i've already got these pre-cut um, I just got close to the sides and such, and that is just more for me for placement than anything else. So, yeah, let's get started with this. Um, I've got some water ready, uh, paper towels, because I'll need it to get the paper on it wet. Um, and remember, there's a little plastic sheet on here, so I'll talk you through it. We'll get there. All right. So what I don't know, and this is a little bit of an experiment, uh, what I don't know is how opaque these guys are going to be. So, it's a little bit of a risk, but we're going to give it a try. Why not? All right. So, one thing I learned very, very important is make sure you take the plastic off. Because once you start getting this wet, and it's like you realize the plastic, it's a nightmare. Um, I, I ruined one completely. But it's okay. I learned. So it just should come off like super, super easy. And this there just to protect the delicate nature of the tattoo. And you'll find it's a little bit on the tacky side, so it wants to stick. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna turn this a little bit more. Make sure, putting a little pressure to make sure it's still on the cup thing really well. And I'm gonna stand up for this. Okay, I already touched the cup, so I think I'm committed. It wants to stick. Seriously, it wants to stick. All right, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get a pair of scissors and kind of cut that. It's gonna have a little bit that it runs around the lip, and that's okay. There we go. All right, here comes the fun part. Now, these guys work really, really well on a smooth surface. So keep that in mind. I'm just gonna blot this and just keep moving it around. Get that paper really saturated. 
I'm kind of supporting my cup underneath, so I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the, um, the shaft that's holding the cup in place. Because I don't want to break my turner. That would suck. It's okay, very well saturated. And then I'm going to kind of massage the top of it to push out any air bubbles. All right, I think we are good to go there. And in the process of pushing, the paper will have a tendency to slide and it'll end up sliding right off the tattoo. It's kind of like magic. Let's see if I can push this over the rim a little bit. Let's see. <gasps> it looks opaque enough. Oh, yay. All right, come on. Slide. Well, there's a lot of resistance on this. Wow. Ooh, sweet. All right, just tapping this down very gently. Ooh, I like ye. I like ye a lot. Okay. So I've got three other ones. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it very simple. And sometimes it's interesting to have things go off the edge, but I'm not going to do it right. You know what? Or do am I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do it. Just a little off the edge. It's like I'm almost holding my breath here. I was so embarrassing when <laughs> I messed up the uh, other tattoo on Tisha's channel. It was like, I can't believe I tried to salvage it so badly. And it's like, you get to that point where you know you at, you know, the point of no return. And I uh, had to remove the whole thing. But it all worked out well. I got a replacement one and just reapplied it and it, it looked good. All right. Let's see if this will slide off. And it does. I guess I should have gone off the top. All right. Now, it's a little wrinkly right here, and I got my finger wet. I'm just going to kind of tap that down, see if I can make good contact. I'm just going to fold that guy over. Oh, I'm stoked. These worked out well. Okay. See if I can get most of the remaining canvas up so I can figure out what I need to do. Yeah, we'll do that. Tapping it down real good with the water. And it's just plain water. I got it right out of the tap. Very simple process. There's a lot of really cool designs. Do be mindful of the designs you pick out compared to what color you have in your background. In other words, if you've got a really busy background and you pick a really busy design, you're going to lose your design. Voila, that's pretty. All right, Let's get the last one on. I 
Oh, yay. I was hoping it would back up. You know what? I'm going to get the whole thing on this time. Instead of having it bounce off. Okay. Static clean. Plastic quick out. There you go. Man, once you just barely touch it, it's like, I got it. You ain't going to get it back up again. It sticks fast. I'll show you at the end of the video um, the other temporary tattoo that I worked on that was um, that had flopped, but I ended up being able to fix it because it it did turn out really really cool. Oh, nice. Bring it a little bit more wet. All right, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. Hang on, let me get a paper towel here. All right, I just wanted to blot it ever so gently. Get rid of some excess water. I like that there's space and then it's a cluster. It makes it to me more interesting. Not entirely symmetrical, it's just a little bit not, um, but I like it. All right, so that's what it looks like in more of a, a cup stance. Does that make sense, cup stance? I don't know. Cool. Super happy with this. I'm just gonna put a clear coat on this. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. I've got some shimmers going on in the um, alcohol ink and that turned out pretty spectacular. I'm really happy about that. So white tattoos, check them out. Just make sure you put a bold enough background for them to stand out. Unless you want really subtle, you can probably get away with um, something subtle but let me show you the other um cup i did with the other tattoo uh, and this is the one i was talking to you about i accidentally tried to put this guy down and i forgot to take the plastic off so part of it adhered and it started sliding when i was getting it wet with the paper um and so you just knew it wasn't going to lay down well but the background of this i did it very soft and watercolory like so that way when i added this guy to it it looked like it was one seamless piece and it did really, really well. So really happy with that. But yeah, have some fun with um, little temporary tattoos. You never know. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. And uh, check the links in the description below for uh, my Amazon store, which is not really a store, it's more of a link smorgasbord. <laughs> That's what I call it. Um, I get pennies on the commission. We're not talking big dollars here, but it doesn't change your price at all. So feel free to click on that. I think there's a bubble right there. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to work on that. Uh, an X-Acto knife, if you pop it, you can let air out. So that's a little trick there, just putting a hole and adding pressure. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to put down uh, in the Tumblr section uh, these little tattoos and such. So check those out. And all my uh, resin stuff, I get it from Artist Till Death. And there's also a coupon code uh, in the description for uh, ATD. So check it out. There we go. All right, I got resin on this Tumblr here. It's going to be turning for a while. But I think we are, whoop, I need to touch that little spot there. <laughs> um, yeah, super happy with the results. Nice and clean, a lot of color. Pretty cool. There you go.